Now, I think it's very fair to say that when you take a very close look at 2023, it was easily the worst year for not just Bob Iger, but also for the Walt Disney Company across the board for all divisions. It doesn't matter if it was Marvel, Star Wars, or even, heck, you know, everything related to the Walt Disney Animation Studios division. A lot of box office failures came out of 2023 and will forever be known as the flop era of Disney under Bob Iger's wing. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. And a lot of this has to do with Bob Iger and his lack of leadership skills, his push for DEI and his agenda-driven strategies, which by the way, he keeps on lying to the shareholders and the customers around the globe about diverting from all of that and quieting down the noise and then reverting back to what he really wants to do. So he really is a liar. That's why I like to call him Bob Liger. This man might as well be the Terminator because he literally destroys every single franchise and or project that comes on board. Ironically, in Terminator 2, he does call himself Uncle Bob, so let's call him Uncle Bob. Now, what's interesting about this is that we know that there's a lot of things going on here with Joy Behar. If you guys do not know her, obviously most of you do. She is one of the hosts on The View, which, by the way, is an ABC-run program, hence a Disney-owned program. And Joy Behar does nothing but root for Disney, roots for Bob Iger, already really fully supported Bob Chapek, and really just goes on to further push the Disney agenda. Well, when it comes to the fan backlash, or just the backlash from the general public, I should say, because there practically are no fans left at this point. However, with Bob Iger preparing to head into endless damage control after all the call-outs from Elon Musk and parodies created by South Park against the Walt Disney Company, one major development involves much to do with Joy Behar of the ABC-run programs, such as The View, which is owned by Disney, where she recently addressed the ongoing backlash against Disney. Behar delivered the following. As someone who is proud to be a feminist, I think that we should all also be proud of what Mr. Iger has been attempting to normalize within the film industry related to the latest Disney movies. I mean, how can you not like what they are planning to do with Snow White and what they have done with The Little Mermaid? You know, I discuss this with my friends and family all the time, but there is just way too much noise surrounding Disney movies from people. Honestly, I think The Marvels was a necessity as a film that needed to be done by Mr. Iger and those guys at Marvel to really get the word out there that women do matter and that women are all mighty and powerful. Many men seem to complain that Disney has this sort of agenda or something against men and certain groups of people and that is just pure false lunacy as far as I see it. Bob has done amazing things with both film and television. What he has done with Marvel and Star Wars and really just adapting all the animated Disney classics are something to be proud of. There is a demographic related to Disney, and it's very real, and it's a series of loud, biased, toxic males that just want to watch a company or studio fail and its disgusting behavior, and it needs to stop. I think these types of fans, if you even want to call them that, believe that the products, as in the movies or shows, belong to them, or that the story should revolve around them, and they just don't get it. Bob has done an immaculate job on promoting race and gender in different ways with the Disney films, and I think it's something that was long overdue. I have had the opportunity to speak with Mr. Iger on multiple occasions, and he would always tell me in private that reaching to the world with diversity, equity, and inclusion is the future and most important, and I couldn't agree more. So many loud and entitled people, I think, are only creating a bigger issue here than what it really is. The releases by Disney, like the Marvels, as far as I see things, was a success for women. It's just sad that we are seeing struggles from other studios as well. Like, look what happened to that Madam Web movie and what Dakota had to go through because men couldn't let go of their fear of women. We are witnessing the same exact thing happening with Disney right now and Bob Iger's challenges to make ends meet with the company for many of the releases. So guys, let me stop here for one second before I move on. Now, obviously, guys, in case you guys don't know Joy Behar, she basically is a Disney puppet. You can't take any word coming out of her mouth seriously. And she's just really out of touch with reality. That's just a given fact. She has no idea what she's talking about. Look, 
there is an agenda by Disney. Their 110% is something deliberate going on within, of course, the walls over at the Disney headquarters by Bob Iger, by the board of directors. They literally do not care about the source material when it comes to, for example, Star Wars, right? When it comes to the movies and or the TV shows coming out of Lucasfilm. Another fine example, they keep Kathleen Kennedy as the president, someone who seemingly resents George Lucas and has nothing to do with him anymore, really kind of gave him the boot and wanted nothing to do with his supervision of projects since a couple of years ago. But interestingly enough, we know that Joy Behar is one that always backs Bob Iger. She always supports him no matter what and she will continue to do so. Let's not forget that Bob Iger is still planned to go on The View in the next couple of months to really kind of share his side of the story about the whole Elon Musk situation, the Gina Carano lawsuit, and everything happening on board with that. And that reveals more than enough about what Joy Behar really is when it comes to her stance on Disney. Now, specifically moving onwards here, she goes on to conclude, I think people using words or phrases like that just shows their own fear and ignorance. She's talking about how people use the terms or the phrases like gender swapping and race swapping. Now, additionally, she goes on to say, I see endless complaints about race swapping and gender swapping of characters, and it's really a non-issue and should not matter. I think people using words or phrases like that are out of touch. Toxicity is a real problem in some of these communities attached to these mega franchises, and as someone who roots for Disney, I think feminism is the future because of how absent it has been from so many major films and television shows over the years. We just need to normalize that for everyone. First of all, guys, when you hear someone say that we have to normalize this or we have to normalize that, that's when you know that person has an agenda. There's no question about it. Look, we've had so many great examples over the past few decades of powerful women, you know, powerful females in both television and film. I mean, there are endless examples to throw out there that I'm sure that you could create at least 40 examples within a 10 minute time frame or less. You know, there's a lot of things going on here with Disney. It's all about just pushing the agenda, pushing their usage of DEI, and it's not just limited to Bob Iger. It has a lot to do with everything related to BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street, the top three shareholders over at Disney, funding all of this nonsense to really kind of just push this to normalize everything. And that's why she's using that word as well, normalize. They want to kind of make it seem like that this is the way to go, that agenda-driven nonsense is basically their push to normalize things in embedded franchises in pop culture. So overall, I would really love to hear what you all have to say about the ongoing situation with Joy Behar and how she's just such a big puppet over for Disney. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Everybody.